Hello, everybody. I'd like to thank the organizers because until today I didn't realize that I was a successful person. So they made my day. I've been working most of my career in the UN, so it's probably more about how do you survive bureaucracy and how you try to infiltrate and generate change. So um, I started, uh, well, from 77 to 89, I was actually a medical doctor, and I was happy to meet here again somebody I hadn't seen for 30 years who was an old colleague and boss. And so that's what it does. It brings you at the end of your career back to where you started. So at that time, I started the usual thing, Médecins Sans Frontières, Save the Children, feeding centers, nutrition surveys. We saved some lives, that's for sure. But then at the end of the day, uh, we realized, oh God, okay, but you do it this way. So I decided that wouldn't work, it was not sustainable, and I decided to move to FAO. So FAO in 1990 was a very siloed organization. Of course, it's very different. Um, it was led by macroeconomists and agronomists, and that's what you were saying, it's not a monolith, there's other people there. And FAO at that time was not interested in nutrition any longer, although it had been started by Lord Boyd or who was a nutritionist. Uh, no visit, you, when you get there, even if you're 40, you're a junior, and you remain a junior in the organization for 10 years. You can't say, I can help you change things. No, no resources, no visibility. Women, let's not even talk about it. Very strict bureaucratic procedures, but thank God it's Italy, so we have coffee breaks. So that's where you start doing networking and surviving. So what I realized is that you need to pilot in the field first and then feed back into the policy work and tell your boss it was his idea all the time. Uh, you have to go to all the interdisciplinary meetings you can, you meet a lot of people, you see how they think, then you know how you can get collaboration. Then we had email and that really saved our lives. We could bypass the organization quite a lot. Found out that nutrition was a great entry point. It's an integrating concept at micro level. I've been working a lot on building causalities model of malnutrition. It's pro-poor. It's people-centered, and it is gender-sensitive. All kinds of nice words that other people were trying to big, big programs. However, ministries of agriculture didn't give a damn, by and large. And the problem is, FAO is a specialized agency. If we don't have a government request, we cannot do anything. And in some countries like Rwanda, they would not recognize in the, 80, in the 90s that they had a nutrition problem because they saw it as an admission of failure on their governance. But on the other hand, you find out that it's kind of easy to add value to already existing programs and projects, and on the whole, it's pretty culturally acceptable that say you want to help poor children be better nourished. And we had gender projects in Nepal, they ask us, can you help? Because they don't want to hear about gender. But if you do nutrition, you do gender. Then one of the solutions was, how do we link into all the sexy wording and programs? So we had people's participation, household food security, sustainable livelihoods, humanitarian, that was great. Uh, because there's a lot of Manorish people and there's a lot of donors interested. And then there was the MDGs, the SDGs, etc., etc. So if you, these are the words that float around, if you can show that you can add value to it. So what were we doing? We were doing what we called participatory nutrition. That is, one size fits all doesn't exist. What is important to know is figure out what is going wrong. So you have a standard process which you apply to different local situations and you're going to find different strategies. You don't do random sampling, you do purpose sampling, you don't want to miss the poorest. And you do participatory appraisal and that gets all these people involved in planning and implementation. It's been an uphill battle. It's been an uphill battle within FAO because of the reason I stated before. It's been an uphill battle with our colleagues in nutrition because the fashion was cost effectiveness, standard interventions, the whole delivery science period, and we really had a problem. What, my, what I take as a lesson, we need local strategies for food security and nutrition. Local institutions are key. They bring experience and knowledge we don't have as, as outsiders. They can contribute to assessment, planning, implementation, and M&E. 
you need to involve all actors, invite them all. If not, they screw up what you're doing. So they have to be there, even if you know they're not going to do anything. So we did a lot of training and planning. So what actually we were doing is moving towards what has been now called nutrition-sensitive agriculture. So you were trying your charm over coffee with forestry, irrigation, horticulture. Do you have a little leftover money I could help you? You know, we could have a workshop, we could do that. We can help you with the publication. So we took, we made the most of the allies and opportunities. And what eventually worked is we were linking field experience in Afghanistan, in Rwanda, and whatever, with global policy work. We were bringing policy, practitioners on board, and not only policymakers and academia. We need to work much more on practice-based evidence and not evidence-based practice. Well, as long as it's based on local practitioners' experience. We need to work at local level because that's where we will be able to address complexity, and that's where people will have to deliver. So what is it, what is, and please leave that one a little. Uh, what we need is to know in what direction we're going and then whether the events. And sometimes it collapses. So you're kicked out of the door where then you go back through the window, it's no problem. And the work you have started doing, you will repackage it and reuse it. So I don't know what was the rest of my beautiful lessons learned, but, and I absolutely hate this format. Thank you very much.